Hi, welcome to AFTV. We've just lost to Nottingham Forest 1 0 here at the City Stadium. Got Liam Brady, some of us, and a few mates as well. Boys, not the way to end the last away game of the season. Well, I mean, there's nothing more I can say apart from the fact it was very disappointing. Yeah. The game today, we didn't give it enough. We pretty much got bullied physically. Yeah. I feel like we might have dominated possession, but just in total, when they had the ball, they looked a lot more dangerous. Mm. We played the ball back a bit too much. Mm. I don't think Kiwiol was very capable of playing out a left wing back. I mean, I do think he's a good player when he's in the central position, but I think out wide, it's just not where it works. I think Party was poor. Mm. Um, Jesus as well, especially. Yep. Sometimes he wasn't picking the right passes. And I feel like the one thing I would say is when we were going out wide with Saka and Trossard, they weren't getting passed to enough. They were making good runs, but they didn't get acknowledged. Yeah. But I feel like this game is very, very disappointing. But when you look at the season as a whole, I mean, I've only been alive for 15 years. And this is the, best, this is the best season I've ever seen in my lifetime. I mean, 16-17 when we came second, it's up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, 15-16 when we came second. I mean, it's up there. But this but one, this one's been... This season. one, it's been extra special. I mean... To finish the season on what, 85, 86 points, yeah. wherever we're going to get. I mean, it depends if we win against Wolves, but exactly that. I mean, there's nothing really much we can do against City. Well, how many wins they got in a row now? They got 23 games unbeaten, 4-0 yeah. Madrid at home. But nah, when you, look at this, when you look at this game, very, very disappointing result and the one against Brighton as well. But looking at the season as a whole, I think it's a very, very big step forward in the way that we want to go. And if we do want to lift the title in the future, one thing I would say is Rome wasn't built in the day. Amen. Um, we got time we got time on our hands. I think Arteta's the man. The process has been trusted over this 38 weeks and I feel like we're going to give him more time and success will come our way. I like that. Let me ask you, he started with saying about the physicality. The physicality hasn't really been a problem at the beginning of the season, but in this game, it felt like it was a problem. Yeah, I mean, we got bullied. Like They clearly wanted it more. And I think the most frustrating thing, not necessarily the physicality, because we knew that was going to come when yeah. they're fighting to stay up, but we've got creative players, some of the best wingers in the league. Like we've got Saka, Trossard, I know Martinelli wasn't playing today as well, but if you're not trying to beat your man, like, where's, where's the chances going to come from? Yeah. I feel like half the game we had the ball, we were just playing it around their box. Yeah. No chances are going to come from that. We've got creative players, Odegaard as well, create something, move, like, it was just so static. It's frustrating, it's very frustrating. I'm going to ask you as well, just quickly, you said there, we didn't really break them down, but why was that? Like, it was going side to side, three shots on target, I don't remember any of them, but we should have been able to break them down in a night, we didn't at all. Yeah, I mean, we just go around the box, side yeah. to side. There was no, like, trying to penetrate through the back line. We had we never made a run over the top, like, mm. Jesus always wants it to feed, and he's not physical or strong enough to hold that ball. He was just getting bullied the whole game. Mm. I think sometimes those runs in behind, I feel, Saka and Trossard like to come in a lot, and yeah. I think sometimes that cuts the width for, especially when you've got Kirio playing at left back. We have no options down that left hand side half the game. Like, Kirio is playing at like left wing back, he's a centre back. Was he, he wrong to not start Tinney? Yeah, I think Tinney had to start. I think as soon as Tinney came on, he, he beat his man the first time and got a cross in, and that's probably the best we did on that left hand side the whole game. So. Yeah, well, listen, boys, next season we go again. Yeah. I know we've got Wolves in next week, but let's hope. You know, we're back up there challenging again and hopefully pick up some silverware next year. We can only year. get better. Can only young get better. team, like, the experience is coming along now, but we can only hope. Yeah. Yeah. One more thing is with new signings and when, especially when Martinelli and Saliba come back, next season I feel like we're going to cook. Yeah. You know, I think we're going to end the season on a high against Wolves. I mean, we should go out there and get three points. Yeah. We should applaud the fans, have a good time, have a sing and a dance, yeah. finish the season off. And next season is when we're going to properly go down on the league. And I genuinely think we are going to do very well. This season, I'm not sure if we do as well as this season as we will next season, but we've got the Champions League to focus on as well. It's always a big plus. Been what seven years since we've yeah, been in that? It's absolutely years, yeah. mad. But I feel like yeah, like I said, Arteta's the man. Yeah, he's got the Arsenal in him, and I feel like. Yeah, just like Chico said, the only way is up, really. The only way is up. Next season, we're going to cook with Mikel Arteta as the chef. Let's hope it comes true. Thank you very much, lads. Don't forget, the Invincible podcast is coming to you live. It's going to be taking place at the Islington Assembly Hall on Tuesday, the 23rd of May. Tickets are available right now. Click the link and get involved now. Come and join us. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk Subscribe to us on YouTube Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch We've got content for every platform So check it out